Hello everyone and welcome. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I am here to quickly give you seven tips what God is saying concerning the virus that has taken all over the world today. Why are you so worried? Why are you so cast down? Why are you so confused? Are you joining the multitude to run hater skater? Are you joining the multitude to be running to make a lot of things more difficult for yourself? No, he said those that know their God, they will do exploit. And he said in his word, Come to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What do you want that God cannot afford to give to you? The only thing he wants you to know is to know him, is to love him, is to come back to him. If at all, we all are sinners. Nobody is perfect in this world. But all of us are striving hard to become who God wants us to uh, become, to become what God has originally created us to be. That is why we need to sit down and look in into our situation, into our life, most especially into our relationship with the maker of heaven and earth. Number one thing I want to give out of the seven point today is death has no hold over you. Yes, everybody will die at one point in time, but not with this kind of virus that has gone all over the world. A lot of people, a lot of deaths have been recorded all over the world today. It is not our portion when you are a believer you need to know that nothing can just take you away like that death has no hold over you this uh, virus has no hold over you talk about Jesus think about Jesus walk about uh, walk in Jesus do everything and stand firm in the faith that you have claimed in the faith that you have in the word of God death cannot hold you down if death cannot hold Jesus in the grave after three days he rose up again death of this virus can cannot take you, cannot take any of your loved ones. Hold on to Jesus and he is alive. He will save you and see us through, throughout this period of this crisis all over the world. Number two is do not be scared. Do not be scared. I have seen a lot of people running out to the shopping mall, getting a lot of things. There is no tissue paper in the, in the shop anymore. A lot of things has disappeared from the shops today. Don't panic. Panic is what kills before anything can even happen. If you, are, if you panic in any situation, the heart cannot take it. The, 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 the system in the body will react to it and things will begin to shut down in the body system don't be scared don't be afraid all you need to do God is telling you today don't be scared all you need to do in the place of uh, if you are scared in the place of that uh, quiet time ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit and that bring me to number three fill yourself with the Holy Spirit invite the Holy Spirit to take over over you to take control of your body and mind to take control of the situation to take control of everything that you have in you when you have the Holy Spirit, you will become in spirit. Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. He speaks to you. He ministers to you. He tells you what to do in times of confusion. But when you don't invite him, he will not come into you. I want you to start to invite the Holy Spirit into your life today. And you will see, you will begin to enjoy peace that supersedes all all troubles number four is never you go after any other god most people run hater skater looking for what uh, quickest way to solve these problems people are doing all manner of things they think that is the way to stop this attack god is warning you today he said in his word he said i am a jealous god visiting the iniquities of the fathers unto the fourth generation please i am begging you don't run and seek help where there is no help 
God is waiting for you. Jesus Christ is calling you today with an open arm to receive you, to welcome you just the way you are. He has given us a long rope to draw. He has given us a long time to repent of our sins. Repent today. Call on him. He will hear you. He will calm you down. He will drive away fear. He will drive away uncertainty from your life today. All you need to do is to call upon him. No need to go and look for help where there is no help. Another point I will be giving today is focus on Jesus Christ alone. He is the savior. He is the alpha and the omega. In him you can trust. In him you can hide. In him you can go naked and explain every situation, everything that bothers your mind. In him alone stand the truth. In him alone you can see the light of the day. He said in his word, I am the way, the truth and the light. No one coming to the father except through me. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, He will personally transform your life. He will begin to open your eyes to see the light of the day. Everything that scares other people will begin to make sense to you. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit in you. Because you, your focus, your gaze is in Jesus, is on Jesus alone. He will see you through in this time of crisis and tribulation all over the world. Another point is be at rest. I listen to the news. I check the news uh, practically every day. And what I see and hear is people don't sleep anymore. What has taken sleep away from your eyes? What has taken your peace of mind away? Jesus is telling you today, be at rest. Let your body, let your soul be at rest. There is nothing that has happened before that he has not uh, um, uh, saved and uh, uh, turned around for his children. If you know the God you serve, if you are in the uh, doing the work of God and you know that Jesus is your Lord and your personal Savior, definitely you should go to sleep. Don't be scared. Do your your work, love him, pray, have the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit to come into you and you go and sleep and let Jesus and his, um, his angels do the work for you. Be not afraid. Let your mind be at peace with the maker of heaven and it's another thing is refresh your mind, refresh your body, refresh your soul with the word of God. In this time of crisis, all we need to do is to go into the word of God, is to study the word of God. Everything that is happening today has already been put down. It is the sign of end time. It is the sign that Jesus is calling us today to repent of our sins, to repent of our ways, to repent of of what we are doing wrongly. What do you think if you have a child and your child is uh, uh, cutting you with a knife or anything at all? It is painful. Most of the time, that is what we are doing to the maker of heaven and earth. He has come to die for our sins. He was crucified on the cross of Calvary. He was bruised. He was spat on. He was being maltreated on the cross of Calvary until he gave up the ghost. And now we are doing the same thing back to him again what he has come to collect what he has come to uh, to take away from us we said we are not going to leave it what are you doing today are you still among the multitude that is pretending that they are serving the living God no Jesus is telling you today this is one of the things you should do or you should know during this attack of the virus in the whole world today fill yourself with the word of God go back he is waiting for you with an open hand. Go back to him. Read his word. Open his word. Meditate on the word of God. And everything you see in the word of God today is practically, if you read with a discernment spirit, he will speak to you through his word and you begin to enjoy the inner peace of mind where others are running, you will be quiet. Where others are saying it is finished, you will tell them it is just the beginning of life for you. 
hold on to Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. No one has ever gone to him that he has abandoned. And another thing is have faith. Faith is required in this whole situation when you believe that the sickness or the virus cannot kill you, cannot harm you, cannot have effect on your family, your loved ones, your children, then it will not come near you because if you don't have faith, then it will come because you are so scared. Take away uh, uh, spirit of fear away from you today and begin to hold on to faith. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, she has gone to many places. She has gone to many physicians. He, uh, she, they were not able to cleanse him up, uh, cleanse her up. They were not able to heal her. But as soon as she heard that Jesus, the Son of God, is passing, she made up her mind, coupled with the faith she have, and say, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I don't need him to lay hands on me. I don't need him to pray for me specifically. Only if I can touch the hem of his garment, that has to do with faith. What is your faith today? Are you waiting for all the things you hear in the news? Yes, it is good to give rules and regulation how to attack this uh, virus of a thing. But let me tell you one thing that God is calling you today. And as soon as you answer, he will begin to change your story uh, around and things will begin to manifest for your good. I will quickly end with this. Nothing is too difficult for God to do. Nothing is too weary for God to handle. All you need to do is to come to him today with an open mind and he will see you through. These are the points that I have given out today concerning what God wants you to know during this attack. I hope I have succeeded in adding value to your life in this difficult season. Have a blessed day and don't forget... Come to Jesus. He is waiting for you to take you through this process that we all are facing today. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. Bye.